Let us pray. Father, this morning as we again come into your presence, we thank you, Master, for bringing us together to worship you. We live in a world where millions are still unable to worship you, especially in our homeland when the pandemic is raging so badly. We thank you for the deliverance that you have given upon our land. We thank you for the deliverance that you have given to us and our families. When we have this privilege, O oh Master, help us to be more grateful and to submit ourselves before you and to use all these opportunities to worship and glorify you. We also pray, O oh Master, that this service will be a time where we will examine ourselves where we will look into our hearts, our minds, our thoughts and find, O oh Master, where we have sinned and to be truthfully standing before you, confessing our sins and repenting of our sins and go back, O oh Master, with a cleansed heart. We submit everyone who is here in the sanctuary and all those who are joining us through the YouTube, we pray that, O oh Master, that your presence will be upon everyone, that you'll strengthen them, O oh Master. We also want to thank you for Regia Chen, who is with us online. We pray that you'll bless the family. We pray, O oh Master, that they'll also be able to join us here in Philadelphia at the earliest and be a blessing to the parish, be a blessing to all our families and to us as individuals. We thank you, we praise you, we glorify you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Let us stand and sing together song number 392. We gather together from the Heavenly Praises book, song number 392, and begin the worship. seated. The first and the second lesson shall be read now in between the lessons. Song number 151 shall be sung. First lesson is taken from Ezekiel 37, 1 through 14. 
Ezekiel 37, 1 through 14. The hand of the Lord was on me, and he brought me out by the Spirit of the Lord. And he sent me in the middle of the valley. It was full of bones. He led me back and forth among them, and I saw a great many bones on the floor of the valley, bones that are very dry. He asked me, Son of man, can these bones live? I said, Sovereign Lord, you alone know. Then he said to me, Prophecy to these bones and say to them, Dry bones, hear the word of the Lord. This is what the Sovereign Lord says to these bones. I will make breath enter you, and you will come to life. I will attach tendons to you, and you will make flesh come upon you, and cover you with skin. I will put breath in you, and you will come to life. Then you will know that I am the Lord. So I prophesied, as I was commanded. And I was, as I was prophesying, there was a noise, a rattling sound, and the bones come together, bone to bone. I looked, and the tendons and flesh appeared on them, and skin covered them, but there was no breath in them. Then he said to me, Prophecy to this breath, prophecy son of man, and say to it, This is what the sovereign Lord says, Come, breathe the four winds, and breathe into slain, that they may live. So I prophesied, as he commanded me, and breath entered them. They came to life and stood up on their feet, a vast army. Then he said to me, Son of man, these bones are people of Israel. They say, Our bones are dried up and our hope is gone. We are cut off. Therefore, prophesy and say to them, This is what the sovereign Lord says. My people, I am going to open up your graves and bring you up from them. I will bring you back to the land of Israel. Then you, my people, will know that I am the Lord. When I open up your graves and bring you up from them, I will put my spirit in you and you will live and I will settle you in your own land. Then you will know that I, the Lord, have spoken. I have done it, declares the Lord. Here he ends the first lesson. The second lesson is taken from Acts chapter 1, 12 to 14. Acts chapter 1, 12 to 14. When the apostles returned to Jerusalem from the hills they call Mount Olives, a Sabbath day's walk from the city, when they arrived, they went upstairs to the room where they were staying. These presents were Peter, John, James, and Andrew, Philip and Thomas, Bartholomew and Matthew, James, son of Alphaeus, and Simon the Zealot, the Judah's son, of James, they were all joined together constantly in prayer, along with the women and Mary of Jesus, and with his brothers. Here is the second lesson. In your light we see the light Jesus. Full of love. 
light. It's your light that shines upon our world. Light our mind. May your light reveal the sin in our hearts as we humbly pray in spirit and truth. Pure and on high in mansions of love cleanse our hearts and souls we will lift them up unto you grant us purity of God and mind that our prayers may rise unto you. O Lord Jesus Christ, born of Mary, baptized by John, have mercy on us. We magnify you, O Lord our King, only begotten Son, Lord our Father, Lord Jesus Christ, immortal in nature, who was born of the Virgin Mary, for the life and salvation of all mankind. Without change of nature, you became the Son of Man, and was crucified for us, thus trembling in the blood. Destroy these forever. All nations, religions, worship the glorified. He will be your Father, and through the and the Holy Spirit, have mercy on us. Holy art thou, O God. Holy art thou, mighty Lord. Holy art thou, immortal Lord. O thou thou hast watched over us, have mercy on us. Holy art thou, O God. Holy art thou, almighty Lord. Holy art thou, immortal Lord. O thou thou hast watched over us, have mercy on us. Holy art thou, O God. Holy art thou, almighty Lord. Holy art thou, immortal Lord. O thou that art ever for us, have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have, Lord, have, Lord, have mercy. Lord God, fill us with the essence of your holy gospel, the teachings of the apostles, the riches of your divine wisdom, and the gift of your Holy Spirit. Enable us to obey your commands gladly and to fulfill your holy will perfectly. Amen. From the Epistle of Paul to the Galatians. Praise to you, O Lord of Apostles. O Lord, grant us grace to discern your word. But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, forbearance, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, 
gentleness and self-control. Against such things there is no law. Those who belong to Christ Jesus have crucified the flesh with his passions and desires. Since we live by the Spirit, let us keep in step with the Spirit. Let us not become conceited, provoking and envying each other. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Offer sacrifice of praise to the Lord. Come and worship in His holy cold. Hallelujah. Brothers and sisters, let us stand in silence, awe and reverence, and listen to the proclamation of the living word of God from the gospel of Jesus Christ our Lord. Peace be with you all. May the Lord make us our worthy The holy gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ which proclaims life and salvation to the world as recorded by the Apostle John. Blessed he is that come and will come again. Praise to the Father, the Son of our salvation. May it but be upon us. The days of Jesus Christ, our great God and Savior, Word of life, God incarnate of the Blessed Virgin Mary, it happened in this way. So we believe and affirm. If you love me, you will keep my commandments, and I will ask the Father, and He will give you another helper to be with you forever. Even the Spirit of Truth, whom the world cannot receive, because it neither sees Him nor knows Him. You know Him, for He dwells with you and will be in you. I will not leave you as orphans. I will come to you yet a little while, and the world will see me no more, but you will see me. Because I live, you also will live. In that day you will know that I am in my Father, and, my, and you in me, and I in you. Whoever has my commandments and keeps them, he it is who loves me, and he who loves me will be loved by my Father, and I will love him and manifest myself to him. Peace be with you all. And also with you, we thank you, Lord, that you've given us your gospel, which is the light of the world, to draw us closer to you, enable us by your grace to praise you through the living fresh of your gospel. Let us pray to the Lord for his blessings and mercy. O oh Lord, who is the source of all blessings, help us and bless us. O oh Lord, help us continually to offer praise and thanksgiving to you, to him who absolves us from our depths and pardons our sins, to him who receives the penitent and rejoices in the return of sinners, to him who has promised Call and I will answer, nor can I will open and stretch forth my hand to pardon your sins and iniquities. To him belong glory and honor and worship, this time and all the days of our lives. Amen. Almighty and glorious Lord, save us from the wiles of the evil one. Lord, in your grace and mercy, you took flesh of the Blessed Virgin Mary and became human. Lord of Lords, do not banish us from your presence and from the company of the angels who continually praise your holy name and proclaim aloud that the Lord God is holy. Show us the way of life and salvation so that we may persevere to attain your glorious kingdom. Lord Jesus, look upon us with the eye of mercy. Save us from our enemies and all that would hurt us. Protect us in the shadow of your cross. Lord Jesus, save us from all deceit and greed. Save us from all evil thoughts, defilement and blasphemy. 
Lord Jesus, make us to rejoice with all the children of your kingdom. To you and to the Father and to the Holy Spirit, we ascribe all praise and thanksgiving, now and forever. Amen. O Lord God, who makes the sinner righteous, pardon our sins and make us holy. Blot out all my sin. Good Lord, through your loving mercy, wipe away the sin of all believers. O oh Lord God, in your mercy and goodness, remember us, our parents, brothers and sisters, our bishops, clergy, teachers of the faith, and all faithful children of your holy and glorious church. Lord God, comfort us in body, mind and spirit. Shower your mercy upon us, be the remission of our sins. Make us all worthy of the good end that is set for all children of peace. To you we offer praise and thanksgiving forever and ever. Amen. We can sinful as we are, let us confess and together say, Holy is the Holy Father. Holy is the living and Holy Spirit. We believe in the one true God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and all things visible and invisible. We believe in one Lord Jesus Christ. The only begotten Son of God, begotten of the Father before all worlds, light of light, very God of very God, begotten not me, being of one substance with the Father, by whom all things were made, who for us of the and our salvation, came down from heaven, and was in the party of the Holy Spirit of the Virgin Mary, and was made man. He was crucified for us, in the days of Pontius Pilate, suffered and died and was buried. The third day rose again by his own will, ascended to heaven, and sits at the right hand of the Father. He will come again, glory to judge, both the living and the dead, and the kingdom there will be no end. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord and dear in life, who proceed from the Father, who with the Father's Son together is worshiped and glorified, who spoke by prophets and apostles. We believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church, we acknowledge the lives and resurrection of the saints, and look forward to the resurrection of the dead, and in the new life of the world to come. Amen. Please be seated. Those who have come prepared for the birthday and wedding anniversary, Thanksgiving prayer, may please stand and come forward for the offer tree and we shall together pray for you. Let us pray. Father, we thank you. We glorify you. We worship you. 
We thank you for this life that you have blessed us with. Even before we were born here on this earth, you knew us, you knew our life, you had a purpose and a plan about each one of our lives. Many a times, O oh Lord, we fail to realize that great purpose that you have for us. Even when you add new days, new years to our lives, we forget, O oh Master, that we have to fulfill the purpose that God has for us through our lives. Especially at this time, we want to thank you for all these thy children who have come again to your presence with a grateful heart. We thank you, O Master, for adding a new year into their lives. We thank you, O Master, for all the blessings that you have showered upon them in the past years. We thank you, O Master, for the various experiences that, that they went through, which has enabled them, O Master, to know the love of God, to grow in faith, and to be a blessing. Again, this morning, as these thy children kneel before you, dedicating themselves before you, O Master, we pray that you will receive their submission that you will accept them, O Master, that you will bless them, O Master, as they enter into the new year of their life, that you will guide them, strengthen them each day, that you will provide for all their needs. It is not what we achieve, O Master, it is what you achieve through us which is important. Help us, O Master, to realize that and fulfill what you have planned for us, O Master, and especially these thy children, as they go through this year, that you will enable them, O Master, to grow together in your love and faith, and that they will be a blessing to their families, to this church, and to the community around. We also want to thank you for everyone who is celebrating their wedding anniversaries. From the day you joined till this day, you have been with them, you have strengthened them together as a family. In everything that they have experienced as a family, we thank you, O Master, for enabling them to enjoy the love of God, to be blessed with the mercies and grace of God each day. We pray that the new year which you have added into their family life will be a time where they will seek you more, they will worship you more, they will use their talents and their abilities. They will use all their resources for the glory of God and the blessing of your name, O Master. We submit all their family members into your, their ha into your hands. Bless them, strengthen them, O Master. We also at this time want to pray for those who wanted to be here but are unable to be here due to various reasons. Wherever they are, be with them, bless them, and strengthen them. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. As we sing song number 324, the offer tree can be brought and placed in the baskets which are placed here. Uh, row by row, you can come forward, place the uh, offer tree, and go back to your seats. So, song number 324.
Father, we thank you. We praise you, we glorify you for all the blessings in our life. There is nothing, O Master, that we have achieved by our strength. There is nothing in our lives, O Master, which we can say it is our own. It is only what you have given to us, O Master, to be used in this world. The minutes, the hours, the days, the years that you have added is again a gift from you. The resources which you have given to us is again a blessing from you. Help us to realize that, O oh Master, that you have given these, thy gifts, to be used for the glory of God and for the blessing of others and not just ourselves. Help us, O oh Master, to submit ourselves and all that we have before you and to be a blessing in this world. We submit ourselves, we submit the sophistry, Use it for your glory. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Praise be to God, it's a great blessing to be with all of you in the sanctuary today. I was not very sure whether I should be standing here or there, because I keep changing to all the parishes here, they have different positions, so is it okay, Sumut? Yeah, yeah, okay. It's a blessing to be again in the sanctuary. Uh, Reggie Chen is also with us, uh, joining in this worship with Zoom. I praise and thank God for Achin and his family. As they look forward to come here, let's continue to pray that they will be able to join us at the earliest and that his ministry and the family's presence will, here will be a blessing to us as a community. We know that we live in a world where things keep changing day by day. None of us expected this sudden change of things in the world especially in India. But we know that God has a purpose about everything. Let us continue to pray for our country. Let us continue to thank God for the deliverance that is upon us and pray that God will bring deliverance upon the whole world. This is also a time for us to stand together and support the needs of uh, those who are going through various struggles in India. It is not like here, it's, it's because there are millions who are going hungry, there are millions who are not getting the required um, medical facilities. We see millions even struggling for oxygen, something which we so, uh, no, we so liberally use without even a thought, we keep breathing in and breathing out. All of us, no matter where we are, every human, we have never thought how precious this oxygen is, but now we see so many people even struggling for that. So it is a time for us also to not just pray, but support. The diocese is, uh, I believe, uh, the secretary will be reading the Kalpana. Uh, um, we have uh, the church is involved with various COVID relief programs through various institutions and missions in India. And uh, the diocese is collecting funds for that 
and channeling it through the various institutions in India. Uh, so the diocese has sent out a kalpana to all the parishes, those who are willing. You may contribute to the parish, or if you want to send it to the diocese, you can do that also, but it will be good if you uh, gather it together in the parish, and everything that is being gathered should be sent to the diocese so that it will be used as soon as possible, and it will be a s source of relief to many. We will not be able to help everyone, but someone will be helped some people will bring will be brought uh, to health some people will be given food so whatever we can do let's do our best i hope and pray that all of you will join in that effort of the church together when we stand together many things can be done and let's praise and thank god for that breathe in breathe out as I said now, we do it about 12 to 14 times in a minute, even without thinking. The sign, sign says that at rest, even when we are just sitting down, our lungs would use about six liters of air per minute. And if we are working out, if we are doing something stressful, it can be even up to 100 liters of air that we are using. Breathing indeed is a miracle, and we don't stop to think about how blessed we are to have this going on and on and on from the time we were born. Not even one minute it has stopped till the minute it stops and we are called back to the Lord. Bill Bright, founder of Campus Crusade for Christ, he quotes, Spiritual breathing, like physical breathing, is a process of exhaling the impure and inhaling the pure. An exercise in faith which enables you to experience God's love and forgiveness and walk the spirit as a way of life. Bright also continues, the average Christian does not understand this concept of spiritual breathing as an exercise of faith, and as a result, lives on a spiritual roller coaster. They go from one emotional experience to another, living most of their life as a worldly Christian controlling their own life, many a times frustrated and fruitless. And that is where today's theme of waiting on the Holy Spirit becomes more significant in our life. The Holy Spirit, which is the spiritual breath that we experience every day, that will keep us pure, that will keep us fulfilling the purpose of God, which is so important in our spiritual life today. So what is the reason and importance of a conscious dependence on the Holy Spirit? We All the po portions that we read together um, was, um, was based on that. And I just want to read from the gospel portion uh, that we read, John chapter 14 and verse uh, 16 and 17. And I will ask the Father, and he will give you another helper to be with you forever, even the Spirit of truth, whom the world cannot receive, because it neither sees him nor knows him. You know him, for he dwells with you and will be in you. What is the significance of the Holy Spirit and why we need to depend on the Holy Spirit? A few little thoughts which I want to share with you this morning. One, the Holy Spirit enables us to have a personal relationship to God. The connection that we have with God is possible because of the Holy Spirit 
with us and in us. His work causes a new life, helping us to know that we are the children of God. Romans chapter 8 verse 16. And also when we read Galatians chapter 4 verses 4 to 7, it says that we are conforming to the adoption into the family of God. We know that when we bring a child for baptism in the, in the Marthoma liturgy, after the child is baptized in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, then this child is brought here by the Godfather or the Godmother, will carry the child and bring the child here. And when the child is brought, the next part of the service is a sacrament where the confirmation of the Holy Spirit is done on this child by the applying of the Holy Muron, which is a symbol of the, of the Holy Spirit, the Holy Oil, which becomes the symbol. So from that moment, the church, the believers, everyone, we confirm together, yes, this child is being confirmed by the Spirit of God. And this child, and later on, at the end of that service, the priest will tell the godfather, the godmother, the grandparents, everyone, the parents who are gathered, saying, you need to make sure that this child is brought up in the Spirit of God. The nurturing is given to the parents and the grandparents. It is our responsibility. So the relationship that we have with God is made possible with the Holy Spirit God. And that's why it is so important that we consciously depend on the Holy Spirit. Secondly, the Holy Spirit equips us to confirm to his image, to the image of God. We always pray, God help us to become like Christ. And that is possible only when we are ready to depend on the Holy Spirit. As we grow in the nurturing of the Holy Spirit, we are transformed from the inside out and we gradually take on the character of Jesus. This is not about our appearance or how we present ourselves before others of how spiritual we are. Right within the depths of our heart, God is transforming us when the Spirit is with us. That is being done. And that's how we are confirmed to the character of Jesus. 2 Corinthians chapter 3 and verse 18, we understand that the Holy Spirit grow, gloriously performs that work in us. And John chapter 14 verse 26, we read, the Holy Spirit is our teacher, teaching and reminding us about the word and the way of Jesus. In John 16, uh, Jesus also refers to the Spirit as a counselor who will guide us every day. This is important because this means that because of the Holy Spirit, we are no longer limited to our sinful nature when making decision. He will guide us. We know that we live in a sinful world. We know that we have so many temptations around us each day. How do we make the right decision? It is only when we are guided by the Holy Spirit. As we depend on the Spirit and surrender to the work of the Spirit in us, we become more like Christ. Thirdly, the Holy Spirit empowers us to continue in his mission. There is an empowerment which happens through the Holy Spirit. What is the empowerment of the Holy Spirit? Someone who is empowered is someone with authority. A judge can issue a sentence on a person who is found guilty because he has been given that authority. A bishop ordains a person to become a deacon or a kashisha because he has been given that authority. The clergy who, who leads the sacrament, maybe the Holy Communion, the marriage, or the baptism, is doing it not because we are wearing a cassock or not because we have just added 
a reverend to our name it is because the church has given us the authority through the spirit that is empowerment in our life and as individuals we are also empowered in our life when we depend on god and that was what the disciples were waiting for because their master had very specifically and explicitly told them wait in jerusalem don't just go off wait there and after the spirit has come then you may go it was not just okay let's uh, jesus is gone let's now do our business no they waited there they were praying together and that's when the holy spirit came empowered them and then they went in different directions and they became the blessing the founding founding of the church in different places how is this empowerment of the holy spirit in our lives today are we seeking for that empowerment today the holy spirit is also empowering you and me in ways that may escape our conscious awareness many times for example let's take our prayer life all of us we i'm sure we have a prayer life each of us will be different how often we pray how long we pray um if our prayer is very formal regimented or if you are just casual and random some of us maybe while we are just sitting in a place we feel like praying some of us have to be in a secluded place some of us feel comfortable sitting in a church and praying so it's different for all of us we some of us pray for maybe 30 minutes some of us may pray very shortly for 5 minutes also but in this prayer life we need to know that prayer is a fascinating honor that god has given to human beings and the holy spirit plays a very critical part in our prayer life he empowers our prayers when you pray it is his role to intercede on your behalf in accordance with god's will romans 8:26 we do not know what we ought to pray for but the spirit himself intercedes for us with groans that words cannot express a beautiful expression of how the spirit intercedes for us even when you don't understand yourself or what you are going through the holy spirit knows your heart and is at work communicating it to god we all have or will have times where we are so wrought with pain that we cannot find the right words what to say we don't know what to say but even at those moments the holy spirit will intercede for us sometimes you know even for me it's like blah we don't know what to do we just confused we don't feel like saying or praying anything but even at that moment the holy spirit is interceding for us he knows your hearts and what you need to express and he will literally interpret it to the father romans 8:27 says the spirit intercedes for the saints in accordance with god's will and why are we empowered by the holy spirit it is for other is it for others to respect us is it for others to give us some special privilege no the empowering work of the holy spirit is not only a privilege to experience it is a miracle which we need to hold to our lives we need to hold that miracle of the empowerment in our holy spirit because we know that the fruits of the spirit will be bestowed upon us when we depend on the holy spirit god desires fruits in our lives for a much more practical purpose it is through the fruit of the spirit that we serve the father and bless 
those people who are around us. Jesus also very explicitly tells us that love your love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind. This is the first and the greatest commandment. And the second is like it, love your neighbor as yourself. Matthew chapter 22 verses 37 to 39. When you, are, when you wonder why on earth you are here, God responds, you are here to love. And while that may sound very easy, it is also very practically, it's really hard and difficult. And love shows itself in action through the service that we can do for each other. This is love, not that we love God, but that he loved us and sent his son as an atoning sacrifice for our sins. Dear friends, since God so loved us, we also need to love one another. First John chapter 4, verse 10 and 11. A life of loving and serving God and others is a fulfilled life. And that is a life of service. And that is possible only when we are empowered by the Holy Spirit. My dearly beloved, this spiritual breath that you and I need every day should become a part of our life. The Holy Spirit enables us to have a relationship with God. The Holy Spirit equips us to confirm to his image. The Holy Spirit empowers us to continue in his mission. How is the empowerment? It is mysterious. But the word of God and the spirit of God will enable us to do it. Why is this empowerment? Because God wants us to have a life of loving and serving God and thereby fulfilling his purpose. Let us fulfill that very purpose which God has for us and become a blessing here on this world. Let's pray. Father, we thank you. We praise you. We glorify you. We thank you for you have given to us the guide, the counselor, the paracleteo master who enables us to know you, to be related to you, who enables us, O Master, to fulfill the purpose that God has for us. Help us, O Master, to realize the presence of the Holy Spirit in our lives every day and to fulfill, O Master, what the Spirit wants of us each day. We know that you have empowered us to become a source of love and blessing to others. Help us to fulfill, O Master, that great calling that you have given us through our lives. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Those who have come prepared to partake in the communion may please stand wherever you are and participate in this prayer of confession. Repeat this prayer after me. I confess that I have sinned against you, O Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, in thought, word, and deed. I am sorry with all my heart for these my sins. I believe in your promise that you will receive all those who truly repent. O Lord, who is merciful and full of grace, accept me even as you accepted the publican, the woman who was a sinner and the thief on the cross. Comfort me be the consolation of your word. O Lord, grant that your holy body and holy blood, in which I now partake, may redeem me from judgment and condemnation and bring me to life and wholeness. Amen.
May God Almighty be compassionate on all of you who have truly confessed your sins. God has freely forgiven your sins to make you worthy to partake in this Holy Communion. Amen. Dearly beloved, pray with me that the service may be acceptable to the Lord. Lord, we humbly knock your door. We are coming to your house and we pray for your blessings. Sanctify your servants by your truth. O oh Lord, I hear the prayers of the people. You have promised for two or three again named. You will be in our midst. We pray that you send us the gift of your Holy Spirit to make his dwelling in us, your people, as the dwelling apostles. O oh God and Lord of all, make us worthy to greet one another with the kiss of peace, freed from all insincerity and united in love. To you, O oh Father, and to your only Son, and to your Holy Spirit, we give you praise and glory now and forever. Amen. Peace be with you all. And also with you. And peace. May the love and peace of the Lord Jesus Christ abide with us forever. May the love and peace of the Lord Jesus Christ abide with us forever. May the love and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ abide with us forever. Brothers and sisters, having received this holy and divine peace, let us bow our heads before the merciful Lord. Gracious Lord, we bow before you. Merciful Father, you dwell on high, yet condescend to look upon things that are lowly. Bless now those who have bowed their heads in your presence with the grace of your only Son, with whom and with the Holy Spirit you accept all praise and glory now and forever. Amen. Beloved brothers and sisters, let us participate in this holy Krabana which is now offered to us with commitment, reverence, humility, purity of heart, love, true faith, and devotion to God the Father, to whom all things belong, is offered sacrifices of grace, peace, and praise in the spirit of unity and concord. The love of God the Father, the grace of the only begotten Son, the communion and abiding presence of the Holy Spirit be with you all, dearly beloved, now and forever. And also with you. May our hearts be with Christ on high. Our hearts truly are with the Lord. To sing praises and worship the Creator of all things. As surely is good and right. Who is adored by the heavenly hosts. Sun and moon and all the stars, the earth and seas and all that dwell there, angels and archangels, thrones and paths, cherubim and seraphim ever proclaiming. Holy, holy, holy is the Lord God Almighty, heaven and earth are full of His glory. Hosanna in the highest, blessed is who has to come, and is to come in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. When the sinless one of his own will chose to suffer death for us sinners, 
He took bread in his holy hands. Bless, O oh Lord. He gave thanks, blessed, sanctified, and broke it and gave it to his apostles, saying, Take, eat, this is my body given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. Amen. In the same manner, he took the cup. Bless, O oh Lord. He gave thanks, blessed, sanctified, and gave it to his apostles, saying, Bring this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for many for the forgiveness of sins. Amen. Thus, as often as you eat this bread and drink this cup, you proclaim the Lord's death until He comes. O oh Lord, we remember your death, we celebrate your resurrection, and we await your second coming. May your blessing rest upon us all. O oh Lord, as we remember your death, burial, resurrection, ascension, and look forward to your second coming to judge the world in the righteousness and truth, we offer this service and sacrifice, entreating you not to deal with us according to our sins, but according to your abundant mercy and saying, Have mercy upon us, O Lord our God. We give thanks to you, we praise you, we glorify you, and we worship you. O source of all goodness, have mercy on us and bless us. Answer unto us, O Lord. Answer unto us, O Lord. Answer unto us, O Lord. And by your grace, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May the Holy Spirit sanctify this bread that it may be the body of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. May the Holy Spirit sanctify the wine in this chalice that it may be the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. O oh Lord, sanctify the bodies and souls of those who receive these gifts that they may bear fruit for the stability of your holy church. Establish ever firmly your holy church founded on the rock of faith against which the gates of hell shall not prevail and preserve her to the end from strife and error. To you with the Son and the Holy Spirit we offer praise and thanksgiving both now and forever. Look with mercy, O Lord, on your holy church through the, throughout the world, on all the bishops who bear the burden of leading and guiding her, especially our Father in the God, the Met William Metropolitan, the Metropolitan, the moderators of CSI and CNI, Archbishops of Anglican Communion, our Diocesan Episcopa, and other ep bishops. Priests, deacons, evangelists, faithful members of our church, and seekers of the faith. Lord, we remember all who exercise authorities in various countries, especially in this country. Give to each other one your Holy Spirit, that they may diligently work in your vineyard. Lord, have mercy. Lord, remember the Mother of our Lord, the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Holy Apostles, the Prophets, the preachers, the evangelists, the martyrs, the confessors, and all the saints. Lord, we remember the three councils of Nicaea, Constantinople, and Ephesus, and all the holy fathers who participated in them. Make us worthy to follow in their footsteps. Lord, we also remember all the faithful who are departed and fallen asleep in the true faith. Grant that we may also be with them, be counted worthy of the remission of our sins, and be gathered into your heavenly kingdom. Lord, have mercy. Lord, 
we thank you for the beautiful universe you have created and the life and the possibilities of it. Forgive us, O oh Lord, for we have distorted the universe for our greed and selfishness. Help us, O oh Lord, to be good and faithful steward for the fulfillment of your will. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. The blessings of our great God and Savior Jesus Christ be with you all dearly beloved, now and forever. And with you also. Let us spend some time in intercessory prayer. As we stand before the Lord, let us thank God for the health, the strength, the deliverance that he has given to each one of us. Where so many around us are sick, where millions of people are still being infected by the COVID virus. Let us pray that God will enable us to be grateful each moment of our life. And also at this time, let us pray for people who are going through this sickness. Pray that God will bring deliverance upon the land. That God will bring healing upon them. Let us pray for many of our loved ones who are going through various treatments, procedures in the days. Let us pray that God will bring healing upon them. Pray for people who are admitted. Pray for people who are in the rehabs. Pray for people who are recuperating at homes. That God will bring complete healing and strength upon their lives. Let us also pray for people who are mourning the loss of their loved ones. Pray that God will bring comfort and strength in their lives. Let us pray for the church. Let us submit our Metropolitan, Theodosius Marthoma Metropolitan, into the hands of the Lord and pray that God will strengthen His grace to continue to be a source of blessing and visionary leadership to the church in these difficult times. Let us pray for the Episcopal Synod. Let us pray for the Sabha Council, the various organizations, those who are leading these organizations. Let us pray for the various institutions in Kerala, the mission field, so many people who are standing together to serve the land let us pray that God will give them strength. God will enable them, empower them to be a source of healing and blessing in the land in these days. Let us pray for our diocese, especially let us commit our diocesan bishop, Dr. Isaac Marfilexinos, Episcopa Thirmeni, before the Lord. Pray that his leadership to the diocese will continue to be a blessing, especially in the last year as we went through the pandemic, his presence and leadership was a source of blessing to the parishes, to the various organizations of the diocese and the mission. Let's pray that God will continue to bless his leadership in the days ahead. Let's pray for the diocesan office bearers, the diocesan council, the Achans who are serving in the diocese, Let's pray for the lay leaders in various organizations and various responsibilities who are serving the diocese. Pray that God will continue to bless us as a diocese to continue to be a blessing in this country and also in various parts of the world. Let's pray for every activity and programs of the diocese. Let us commit our parish before the Lord. Let us thank God for all the blessings that he has added upon us as a parish. Especially at this time, let us pray for our new vicar, Reggie Ohana Nachin and family. Let us pray that God will bring them at the earliest to Philadelphia so that they'll be able to 
continue in their leadership and ministry here in Philadelphia and be a blessing to the parish and to this region as a whole. Let us pray for all our families, all our individuals, especially let us commit our children and our young people before the Lord. Let us thank God for all our graduates. Many of our children have graduated in various courses and institutions. Let us thank God for the ways that God has blessed them, enabled them to fulfill their courses and graduate. Let us pray that God will continue to bless their future endeavors and be so that they will be a blessing in all that they do in this land and to the church and to, the, and to their families. Let us pray for our children who are going through finals in these days. Pray that God will give them strength, wisdom and knowledge to do well. Let us pray for our children who are seeking new admissions in the coming months as they prepare for their college life and to various courses and institutions that they will join. Pray that God will be with them, guide them according to his will so that they will be able to continue in their education in the coming months. Let's thank God that even during the pandemic, even when our children had to go through different modes of education. God was with them. God strengthened them. God gave them all the required blessings to fulfill this academic year in the best possible way. Pray that God will continue to be with them and strengthen them. Let us commit all our personal needs before the Lord, especially those who are going through sickness, let us pray that God's healing hand will come upon them and strengthen and heal them. Let us pray for people who are going through various struggles, through challenges which were unexpected. Pray that God will bring comfort in their life, God will bring deliverance upon their life, especially those who have lost their loved ones unexpectedly. Let us pray that God will comfort and strengthen them. And Enable them to know that we believe in a Lord who was risen from the dead and who has promised us that everyone who believes in him will be resurrected. Let us pray for that hope and comfort in the lives of our loved ones. Let us pray for all our young people who are of marriageable age, who are looking forward for their marriage, preparing and praying for it, that God will lead them to the best partner whom God has chosen, that they will be a blessing as a family. Let us pray for all our loved ones who are preparing for their marriage in the coming months, that God will be with them, guide them and strengthen them in all their decisions and preparations. Especially let us thank God for Jake and Vindhya who were married yesterday. Let us commit their family life before the Lord as they were a blessing as youths, as young people to the church. Let us pray that as a family, they will continue to be a witness who will continue in the ministry that God has given to them as a family. Let us also at this time pray for our, all our young families, especially those who are going through relational struggles. Pray that God will give them love, joy, and peace, which will keep them united in his love. Let us pray for young couples who are earning to have a child in their family life that God will bless them according to his will. Let us pray for young parents who are taking care of infants. Pray that God will give them strength, love, and faith to bring up their infants in his love and be a blessing to this land. Let us also pray for expectant mothers. Pray that God will keep them all strengthened and healthy during these days.
Let us pray for single parents. Pray that God will strengthen them to fulfill their responsibilities depending upon his grace to the best possible manner that they can given the struggles and challenges that they face that God will be with them and strengthen them. Let us at this time also commit all our loved ones who are far away from us, our parents, grandparents, brothers and sisters, children, grandchildren, cousins, relatives, especially those who are back in India where things are getting difficult day by day. Let's pray that God's strength will be upon each and every one of them. Keep them all healthy, protected and strengthened. Let us also pray for all our needs, our desires, our challenges, our struggles which we would not have shared with anyone. Let us place it before the Lord this very moment and pray, God, take control. Help me. I know that I am weak. I need your grace. I need your strength. Let us pray and commit ourselves and whatever be the pain into the hands of the Lord and pray for God's blessing upon our lives. Let's all pray silently for a moment. In Jesus' name we pray, mm -hmm. amen. O oh God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, make perfect the offerings and oblations presented before you. Sanctify our body, souls, and spirit, so that with pure and confident hearts we may address you as God and Father and pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. May your kingdom come. May your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day of our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Do not bring us to the time of trial, but deliver us from the evil one. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. May the grace, mercy, and blessings of the holy and glorious Trinity, uncreated, self-existent, eternal, adorable one in essence, be with you all, dearly beloved, now and forever. And also with you, O holy and glorious Trinity, have mercy upon us. Holy things for holy people. Holy is the one Father, holy is the one Son, holy is the one Spirit. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. One from the beginning, forever and ever. Amen. The one Holy Father who created the world, in His mercy is with us. Amen. The one Holy Son who saved it, by His precious passion is with us. Amen. The one living Holy Spirit who makes perfect and fulfills all that is and that has been is with us. May the name of the Lord be blessed as in the beginning, both now and forever.
To the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, now and shall be. Amen. O Lord, at your command, death held this way. You abolished death through your resurrection from the dead. Therefore, we praise and exalt you. O Lord, every mouth shall sing your praise. O Lord, who gathers up the children of Adam from everywhere, bless us and help us. O Son, o Son of God, your death has changed our death into life. Raise us from the dust, so that we may praise you. The God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit is worthy of glory and worship forever. From the beginning of generation to generation, may he be praised. O Son of God, who came for our salvation and will come again for our resurrection and for the renewal of our grace, grant, we pray, forgiveness of sins to your servants through your own atoning sacrifice. Amen. O Lord God, graciously bless these, your children, who partake of your most precious body and blood, which was given on Calvary for the forgiveness of sins, that they may abide in your presence forever. Amen. The blessings of Jesus Christ, our great God and Savior, be on those who bear these sacred mysteries, those who dispense them, those who receive them, and all who have participated and who shall participate in them. The grace of God be on us all, both now and forever. Lord, have mercy and bless us. Glory and praise be to you, our Lord, our lasting refuge. The holy body and blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, which was broken and shed for us on the Calvary, is given to you for the health of your body and soul. Receive it with thanksgiving.
Let us spend a moment thanking God for this great blessing that he has showered upon us to partake in the holy body and blood of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. The liturgy says it brings healing upon the body. It brings healing upon the soul. God has confirmed that healing upon us. Let us go back in faith that this healing is upon us and our loved ones. Let us pray for all our loved ones who are unable to be here also. Let's pray that God will strengthen and bless each one of them. Let us submit ourselves before the Lord and pray silently for a moment. You alone are my strength, my shield. To you alone may my spirit yield. You alone are my heart's desire. to you, O God, forever. Praise be to you, O Lord Jesus Christ. May the holy body and blood of which we have now partaken be not for our condemnation, but for life and salvation to us all. O God, grant us your blessings. Holy shall bow down before you, and every tongue shall praise your holy name. For you give life to the dead, and you are the hope of all life in the grave. We praise you, O Lord, and give you thanks for your mercy towards us. We praise you, O Lord, because in your abundant mercy, you have fed and strengthened us with the precious body and blood of your Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ. You have thereby made us one with him and with all the members of his mystical body. We pray you to give us grace to continue in that holy fellowship and ever to offer glory and praise to you and to your only begotten Son and to your Holy Spirit. Amen. Bless us, O Lord, all in your holy presence, accept the praise and petition of us, you people, and pardon our offenses, enable us to receive your gifts and blessings, and send us with your peace. My beloved brothers and sisters, I commend you to the grace and blessings of the holy and glorious Trinity. Depart in peace and serve the Lord with the gifts and blessings that you have received from the atoning sacrifice of the Lord. Amen. You both near and far who are saved by the victorious cross, sealed with the seal of holy baptism, this holy trinity will forgive you your sins and comfort your souls. Pray for me, my brothers and sisters, weak and sinful as I am, that I may obtain mercy and help. Depart in peace, filled with gladness and rejoicing. Please be seated. The secretary will make the announcements.
ഗുഡ് ആഫ്റ്റർനൂൺ കൽപ്പന ഉള്ളത് വായിച്ചോളട്ടെ സർക്കുലർ നമ്പർ എയ്റ്റീൻ കർത്താവിൽ വാത്സല്യമുള്ളവരെ നമ്മുടെ സഭയുടെയും സമൂഹത്തിൻ്റെയും ആധ്യാത്മികവും ഭൗതികവുമായ ഉന്നമനത്തിനും ക്ഷേമത്തിനും ധന്യവും ധീരവുമായ നേതൃത്വം നൽകിയ അഭിനന്ദി ഡോക്ടർ ഫിലിപ്പോസ് മർക്രിസോസും വാർത്ത മൗലൂത്തുറപ്പുരുത്ത തിരുമേനി രണ്ടായിരത്തി ഇരുപത്തൊന്ന് മെയ് മാസം അഞ്ചാം തീയതി ബുധനാഴ്ച വെളുപ്പിന് ഒന്ന് പതിനഞ്ചിന് കർത്തസന്നതിലേക്ക് ചേർക്കപ്പെട്ടു ഏ രണ്ടായിരത്തി ഇരുപത്തൊന്ന് ഏപ്രിൽ ഇരുപത്തി മൂന്നിന് തിരുമേനിക്ക് ശാരീരികമായ ചില അസ്വസ്ഥകൾ ഉണ്ടായിരുന്നതിനെ തുടർന്ന് കുമ്പനാട് ഫെലോഷിപ്പ് മിഷൻ ആശുപത്രിയിൽ നിന്നും വിദഗ്ധ പരിശോധനയ്ക്കായി തിരുവല്ല ബിലീവേഴ്സ് മെഡിക്കൽ കോളേജ് ആശുപത്രിയിൽ പ്രവേശിക്കുകയുണ്ടായി ആശുപത്രിയിൽ ചികിത്സയിലിരിക്കെ ഏപ്രിൽ ഇരുപത്തിയേഴിന് നൂറ്റി മൂന്നാം വയസ്സ് പൂർത്തീകരിച്ച് നൂറ്റിനാലാം വയസ്സിലേക്ക് പ്രവേശിച്ച വലിയ തിരുമേനിക്ക് വേണ്ടി മെത്രോ പൗരത്വയുടെ നേതൃത്വത്തിൽ പ്രാർത്ഥനയും വിശുദ്ധ കുർബാന ശുശ്രൂഷയും നടത്തി ശാരീരികമായ ക്ഷീണം ഉണ്ടായിരുന്നുവെങ്കിലും ഉന്മേഷത്തോടു കൂടിയാണ് വിശുദ്ധ കുർബാന സ്വീകരിച്ചത് രണ്ടായിരത്തി ഇരുപത്തൊന്ന് മെയ് മാസം നാലാം തീയതി പകൽ പതിനൊന്നിന് ബിലിബേസ് ആശുപത്രിയിൽ നിന്ന് ഡിസ്ചാർജ് ചെയ്തു തന്നെ ശുശ്രൂഷ എല്ലാവരെയും കൈകൂപ്പി നമസ്കരിച്ച് നന്ദി അറിയിച്ചാണ് പ്രസന്നപതനായി വീൽ ചെയറിൽ മുറിയിൽ നിന്ന് ആംബുലൻസ് പാർക്ക് ചെയ്യുന്ന സ്ഥലം വരെ എത്തി ആംബുലൻസിൽ കുമ്പനാട് ഫിലോഷിപ്പ് ആശുപത്രിയിൽ യാത്ര തിരിച്ചത് ഉച്ചയ്ക്ക് പന്ത്രണ്ട് മുപ്പതിന് മണിയോടുകൂടി കുമ്പനാട് ആശുപത്രിയിൽ എത്തി ഉച്ചയ്ക്ക് ലഘുഭക്ഷണം കഴിച്ചു എന്ന രാത്രി ശ്വാസം പൊടി അനുഭവിച്ചു അനുഭവപ്പെട്ടു ഡോക്ടർ രാജു പി ജോർജും ഡോക്ടർ ജോൺ എബ്രാഹിം ഉടൻ തന്നെ ആശുപത്രിയിലെത്തി വിവരമറിഞ്ഞ് ഞാനും തോമസ് മാർ തിമോത്യോസ് തിരുമേനിയും സഭാ സെക്രട്ടറിയും രാത്രി പതിനൊന്ന് മണിക്ക് ആശുപത്രിയിലെത്തി വലിയ മെത്രോ പൊളിത്ത തിരുമേനിയുടെ ആരോഗ്യസ്ഥിതി വിലയിരുത്തുന്നതിനും വിലയിരുത്തിയ ശേഷം തൈലാഭി അഭിഷേക ശുശ്രൂഷ നടത്തി വിവരമറിഞ്ഞ് ഡോക്ടർ യുവാക്കി മാർ കുർലോസ് ജോസഫ് മാർ ബെർണവാസ് ഡോക്ടർ എബ്രഹാം മാർ പൗലോസ് ഡോക്ടർ ഗീഗുരോസ് മാർ സ്റ്റേഫാനോസ് എന്നീ തിരുമേനിമാരും സഭാ സെക്രട്ടറി ട്രസ്റ്റിമാരും ആശുപത്രിയിലെത്തി എല്ലാവരും പ്രാർത്ഥനാ ദുരിതരായിരിക്കെ രണ്ടായിരത്തി ഇരുപത്തൊന്ന് മെയ് അഞ്ച് വെളുപ്പിന് ഒന്ന് പതിനഞ്ചിന് അഭിനന്ദ്യ അഭിവന്ദ്യ വലിയ മെത്രാ പോലത്തെ തിരുമേനി താൻ പ്രിയം വെച്ച കർത്തുസന്നതിലേക്ക് പ്രത്യാശയോടെ പ്രവേശിച്ചു തിരുമേനിക്ക് ആവശ്യമായ ചികിത്സയും ശുശ്രൂഷകളും നിർവഹിച്ച ഡോക്ടർ രാജു പി ജോർജ് ഡോക്ടർ ജോർജ് ചാണ്ടി ഡോക്ടർ ജോം സി ജോർജ് ഡോക്ടർ ജിൻ സി മറിയം കോശിയും ഡോക്ടർ രവി ചെറിയാൻ മറ്റു ഡോക്ടർമാർ നേഴ്സുമാർ ഇതര പ്രവർത്തകർ തിരുവല്ല ബിലിവേഴ്സ് മെഡിക്കൽ കോളേജ് ആശുപത്രി മാനേജ്മെന്റ് വിശ്വസിയ ഫാദർ സിജോ പന്തപ്പള്ളി എന്നിവരുടെ സേവനങ്ങളെ നന്ദിപൂർവ്വം സ്മരിക്കുന്നു തിരുമേനിയുടെ വിശ്രമ കാലയളവിനും രോഗാവസ്ഥയിലും തിരുമേനി ശുശ്രൂഷ കുമ്പനാട് ഫെലോഷിപ്പ് ആശുപത്രിയിലെ അഡ്മിനിസ്ട്രേറ്റർമാർ ഡോക്ടർമാർ നേഴ്സുമാർ മറ്റ് സ്റ്റാഫ് അംഗങ്ങൾ എന്നിവരോടും തിരുമേനിയുടെ സെക്രട്ടറി റവറൻ ബിനു വർഗീസ് സഹായി ശ്രീ എബ്രഹാം ചാക്കോ തുടങ്ങിയവരോടുള്ള കടപ്പാട് രേഖപ്പെടുത്തുന്നു വലിയ തിരുമേനിയുടെ ഭൗതിക ശരീരം രണ്ടായിരത്തി ഇരുപത്തൊന്ന് മെയ് അഞ്ചാം തീയതി രാവിലെ അഞ്ച് മണിക്ക് കുമ്പനാട് ഫെലോഷിപ്പ് ആശുപത്രി ചാപ്പലിൽ പ്രാർത്ഥനയ്ക്കായും പൊതുദർശനത്തിനായും വച്ചപ്പോൾ ദേശവാസികളും ആശുപത്രി സ്റ്റാഫ് അംഗങ്ങളും അന്തിമവാരം അർപ്പിച്ചു ആറ് മുപ്പതിന് കുമ്പനാട് എന്ന് പുറപ്പെട്ട് ഏഴിന് തിരുവല്ല സഭ ആസ്ഥാനത്തെത്തി തുടർന്ന് ഡോക്ടർ അലക്സാണ്ടർ മാർത്തമ്മ വലിവെത്ര പൊലത്ത സ്മാരക ഓഡിറ്റോറിയത്തിൽ ശീതീകരിച്ച പ്രത്യേക പേടകത്തിൽ ഭൗതിക ശരീരം വെച്ചു ഏഴ് മുപ്പതിന് ഒന്നാം ഭാഗം ശുശ്രൂഷ നടന്നു എട്ട് മുതൽ പൊതുദർശനം ആരംഭിച്ചു വിവിധ സഭകളിലെ മേനദ്യസ്മാരും സാമൂഹ്യ രാഷ്ട്രീയ ഭരണതലത്തിലെ ജനനേതാക്കളും വിശ്വാസ സമൂഹവും പൊതുസമൂഹവും അനുശോചനം അറിയിച്ച് ആദരാഞ്ജികൾ അർപ്പിച്ചു രണ്ടാം ഭാഗം ശുശ്രൂഷ മെയ് അഞ്ചാം തീയതി വൈകുന്നേരം ആറ് മണിക്കും മൂന്നാം ഭാഗം ശുശ്രൂഷ ആറാം തീയതി രാവിലെ എട്ടിനും നടന്നു അന്നേ ദിവസം ഉച്ചയ്ക്ക് ശേഷം മൂന്നിന് കവറടക്ക ശുശ്രൂഷയുടെ ഇവിടെ നാലാം ഭാഗം ആരംഭിച്ചു താൽക്കാലികമായി കൂതാശ് ചെയ്ത മധുബായിൽ നടന്ന ശുശ്രൂഷയ്ക്ക് മെത്രാ പൊലത്ത നേതൃത്വം നൽകി നമ്മുടെ അഭിവന്ദ്യ ഡോക്ടർ യുവാക്കി മാർ കുർലോസ് ജോസഫ് മാർ ബെർണമാസ് തോമസ് മാർ തിമോത്തിയോസ് ഡോക്ടർ എബ്രഹാം മാർ പൗലോസ് ഡോക്ടർ മാത്യൂസ് മാർ മക്കാരിയോസ് ഡോക്ടർ ഗീഗ്രിയോസ് മാർ സ്റ്റേഫാനോസ് ഡോക്ടർ തോമസ് മാർ തീത്തോസ് എന്നീ തിരുമേനിമാരും സഹോദരി സഭകളിലെ മേൽപ്പെട്ടക്കാരും സഹ സഹ നേതൃത്വം നൽകി ശുശ്രൂഷകൾക്ക് ശേഷം കോവിഡ് പ്രോട്ടോകോൾ പ്രകാരം അംഗസംഖ്യ പരിമിതപ്പെടുത്തി
ബഹുമാനായ മിസോറാം ഗവർണർ അഡ്വക്കേറ്റ് പി എസ് ശ്രീധരൻപിള്ള ജാർഖണ്ഡ് ഗവർണർ ശ്രീമതി ദ്രൗപതി മുർമുവും ഇന്ത്യൻ നാഷണൽ കോൺഗ്രസ് പ്രസിഡന്റ് ശ്രീമതി സോണിയാഗാന്ധി കമ്മ്യൂണിസ്റ്റ് പാർട്ടി ഓഫ് ഇന്ത്യ മാർക്സിസ്റ്റ് ജനറൽ സെക്രട്ടറി ശ്രീ സീതാറാം യെച്ചൂരി കോൺഗ്രസ് നേതാവ് ശ്രീ രാഹുൽ ഗാന്ധി എം പിമാർ മന്ത്രിമാർ കാൻബറി ആർച്ച് ബിഷപ്പ് മോസ്റ്റ് റവറൻ ഡോക്ടർ ജസ്റ്റിസ് മെൽബി അഖില ലോക്സഭാ കൗൺസിലിന്റെയും ക്രിസ്ത്യ കോൺഫറൻസ് ഓഫ് ഏഷ്യയുടെയും ജനറൽ സെക്രട്ടറിമാർ എന്നിവരും സഹോദര സഭകളിലെ മേലധ്യക്ഷന്മാരായി തുടങ്ങി സമൂഹത്തിലെ വിവിധ മേഖലകളിലെ സ്നേഹിതരും അനുശോചന സന്ദർശനത്തിലൂടെ തങ്ങളുടെ ആദരവ് രേഖപ്പെടുത്തി ബഹുമാനപ്പെട്ട കേരള കോൺഗ്രസ് കേരള ഗവർണർ ശ്രീ ആരിഫ് മുഹമ്മദ് ഖാൻ ബഹുമാനപ്പെട്ട മുഖ്യമന്ത്രി ശ്രീ മുരൺ പിണറായി വിജയൻ കർദിനാളന്മാരായ മോസ് റവറൻഡ് മാർ ജോസഫ് ആലഞ്ചേരി മോസ് റവറൻഡ് ബസേരിയോസ് മാർ ക്ലിമോസ് കാതോലിക്ക ബാവ മുൻ മുഖ്യമന്ത്രി ശ്രീ ഉമ്മൻചാണ്ടി പ്രതിപക്ഷ നേതാവ് ശ്രീ രമേശ് ചെന്നിത്തല മന്ത്രിമാർ എം പിമാർ എം എൽ എമാർ മറ്റു ജനപ്രതിനിധികൾ രാഷ്ട്രീയ സാമൂഹിക സാംസ്കാരിക മതസഭാ നേതാക്കൾ വിശ്വാസ സമൂഹം പൊതുസമൂഹം സ്വഭാവങ്ങൾ തുടങ്ങി സമൂഹത്തിലെ വിവിധ രംഗങ്ങളിലെ സ്നേഹിതർ നേരിട്ടെത്തി ആദരാജ്ഞലികൾ അർപ്പിച്ചു മതസഭാ വ്യത്യാസമില്ലാതെ സമസ്ത ജനതയുടെയും സ്നേഹാദരവുകൾക്ക് പ്രാപ്തിഭൂതനായ എല്ലാവരും തങ്ങളുടെ സ്വന്തമായി കരുതുകയും ആദരിക്കുകയും തങ്ങളുടെ ഹൃദയത്തിൽ സ്ഥാനം നൽകുകയും ചെയ്ത അഭിവന്ദ്യ മത്രോം മാർത്തോമ്മ ബലി മെത്രോ പൊരുത്ത തിരുമേനയുടെ അതുല്യമായ വ്യക്തിത്വവും അസർദൃശ്യമായ ആശയ ഗംഭീര്യവും വശ്യമായ പെരുമാറ്റ രീതികളും നർമ്മധൂരമായ ആവിഷ്കരണ ചാതുരിയും ഒത്തുയർന്ന് ഓർത്ത് ദൈവത്തെ സ്തുതിക്കുന്നു ആയിരത്തി തൊള്ളായിരത്തി നാൽപ്പത്തിനാല് ജനുവരി ഒന്നിന് ശമാശപ്പെട്ടവും ജൂൺ മൂന്നിന് കശിശപ്പെട്ടവും സ്വീകരിച്ചു തുടർന്ന് വിവിധ ഇടങ്ങളിൽ ധന്യമായ ശുശ്രൂഷ നിർവഹിച്ചു ആയിരത്തി തൊള്ളായിരത്തി അമ്പത്തി മൂന്ന് മെയ് ഇരുപതിന് റംബാനായും ഇരുപത്തിമൂന്ന് ഫിലിപ്പോസ് മാർ ക്രിസോസ്റ്റം എന്ന നാമത്തിൽ എപ്പിസ്കോപ്പിയായും സ്ഥാനാഭിഷേകം ചെയ്യപ്പെട്ടു കോട്ടയം കുന്നംകുളം അടൂർ കൊട്ടാരക്കര തിരുവനന്തപുരം കൊല്ലം അടൂർ മാവേലിക്കര റാന്നി നിലയ്ക്കൽ ചെങ്ങന്നൂർ തുമ്പമൺ നോർത്ത് അമേരിക്ക ആൻഡ് യൂറോപ്പ് നിരണം മാരാമൺ എന്നീ ഭദ്രാസനങ്ങളിൽ ഭദ്രാസ അധ്യക്ഷനായും ബാക്കി കേരളത്തിലെ മിഷണറി ബിഷപ്പായും അതിശ്രേഷ്ഠമായ നേതൃത്വം നൽകി സഭയിലെ വിവിധ സംഘടനകളുടെയും സ്ഥാപനങ്ങളുടെയും അധ്യക്ഷനായി പ്രഭുമായ നേതൃത്വം നൽകി ആയിരത്തി തൊള്ളായിരത്തി എഴുപത്തി എട്ടിൽ സഫർ മെത്രോപ്പോലത്തിയായും ആയിരത്തി തൊള്ളായിരത്തി തൊണ്ണൂറ്റി ഒമ്പതിൽ ഒഫീഷ്യേഷ്യൽ ഒഫീഷ്യേറ്റിംഗ് മെത്രോപ്പോലത്തിയായും ഉയർത്തപ്പെടുകയും ആയിരത്തി തൊള്ളായിരത്തി തൊണ്ണൂറ്റൊമ്പത് ഒക്ടോബർ ഇരുപത്തി മൂന്ന് മാർത്ത മെത്രോപ്പോലത്തിയായി സ്ഥാനാഹരണം ചെയ്യപ്പെടുകയും ചെയ്തു മെത്രോപ്പോലത്ത സ്ഥാനത്ത് നിന്ന് സ്വയം വിരമിച്ച് രണ്ടായിരത്തി ഏഴ് ഒക്ടോബർ രണ്ടാം തീയതി വലിയ മെത്രോപ്പോലത്ത സ്ഥാനത്ത് എന്ന നിലയിൽ സ്ഥാനാഹരണം ചെയ്യപ്പെടുകയും ചെയ്തു വിശാല എക്യുമെനിക്കൽ മേഖലയിലും സഫ ഐക്യ പ്രസ്ഥാനങ്ങളിലും അതിശക്തമായ നേതൃത്വം നൽകി മാനവ സാഹോദര്യം ഊട്ടുറപ്പിക്കുകയും വിദ്യാഭ്യാസ ആതുര സാമൂഹിക മേഖലകളിൽ നിസ്തുല്യമായ നേതൃത്വം നൽകിയും എക്കാലവും തും സ്മരിക്കപ്പെടും തിരുമേനിയുടെ സമാനതകളില്ലാത്ത സാമൂഹിക സേവനങ്ങളും വ്യക്തി പ്രഭാവത്തെ മാനിച്ച് രണ്ടായിരത്തി പതിനെട്ട് പത്മഭൂഷൺ ബഹുമതി നൽകി ഭാരത സർക്കാർ തിരുമേനി ആദരിച്ചു എന്നത് സഭയ്ക്ക് എക്കാലവും അഭിമാനകരമാണ് ആഗോള ഏക്യമനിക്കൽ രംഗത്ത് നിർവഹിച്ചിട്ടുള്ള ശ്രേഷ്ഠ നേതൃത്വത്തിന് ഉത്തമ ഉദാഹരണമാണ് രണ്ടാം വത്തിക്കാൻ കൗൺസിൽ പ്രത്യേക ക്ഷീണതാവായി പങ്കെടുത്തത് അഖില ലോകസഭാ കൗൺസിൽ കോൺഗ്രസ് കോൺഫറൻസ് ഓഫ് ഏഷ്യ നാഷണൽ കൗൺസിൽ ഓഫ് ചർച്ച് ഇൻ ഇന്ത്യ കമ്മ്യൂണി കമ്മ്യൂണിയൻ ഓഫ് ചർച്ച് ഇൻ ഇന്ത്യ കേരള കോൺഗ്രസ് ഓഫ് ചർച്ച് തുടങ്ങിയ സമുന്നത എക്യുമെനിക്കൽ വേദികളിൽ നിർവഹിച്ചിട്ടുള്ള നേതൃത്വവും ഏറ്റവും ശ്രേഷ്ഠകരമായിരുന്നു വലിയ മെത്രോപോലത്ത തിരുമേനിയുടെ തൊണ്ണൂറ്റി തൊണ്ണൂറാം ജന്മദിനത്തോടനുബന്ധിച്ച് തിരുമേനിയുടെ സാമൂഹിക ദർശനത്തെ അടിസ്ഥാനമാക്കി ജാതി മത ഭേദമന്യെ സഭയായി രണ്ടായിരത്തി അഞ്ഞൂറിൽ പരം ഭവനങ്ങൾ നിർമ്മിച്ചു നൽകുവാൻ സാധിച്ചത് ഈ അവസരത്തിൽ അനുസ്മരിക്കുന്നു രണ്ടായിരത്തി ഏഴ് ഒക്ടോബർ രണ്ടിന് മെത്രോപോലത്ത സ്ഥാനത്ത് നിന്ന് സ്വയം വിരമിച്ച് മാരാമൻ ജൂബിലി ഹോമിൽ വസിച്ചിരുന്ന സമയത്ത് കർമ്മനിരതമായ ഒരു പുതിയ അധ്യായത്തിന് തുടക്കം കുറിക്കുകയും കൂടുതൽ സജീവമായ സമൂഹ ഇടപെടുകൾ നടത്തുകയും ചെയ്തു ഇക്കാലയളവിൽ അനേക മത സാമൂഹിക സാംസ്കാരിക നേതാക്കളും പ്രവർത്തകരും സാധാരണക്കാരും തിരുമേനിന് അനുഗ്രഹവും ഉപദേശവും തേടിയിരുന്നു പാർശ്വവൽക്കരിക്കപ്പെട്ട ജനവിഭാഗങ്ങളെ ഹൃദയത്തോട് ചേർത്ത് നിർത്തി അവരുടെ ആവശ്യങ്ങൾ സഹായിക്കാൻ എന്നുള്ളത് പ്രത്യേകം പ്
ബദ്ധന്മാർക്ക് വിടുതലും കുരുടന്മാർക്ക് കാഴ്ചയും പ്രസംഗിപ്പാനും പീഡിതന്മാരെ വിടുവിച്ചയപ്പാനും കർത്താവിൻ്റെ പ്രസാദ വർഷം പ്രസംഗിപ്പാനും എന്നെ അയച്ചിരിക്കുന്നു ഗ്ലൂക്കോസ് നാലിൻ്റെ പതിനെട്ടും പത്തൊമ്പതും ഈ തെരുവചനം യഥാർത്ഥമാക്കി തീർത്ത് വിശ്വാസ സ്ഥിരതരാകുവാൻ ജനങ്ങളെ നിരന്തരം പ്രകോപിപ്പിക്കുകയും കർത്താവിന് വേണ്ടി വിശ്രമരഹിത ശുശ്രൂഷ ചെയ്ത് വിശ്രാമം പ്രാപിച്ചിരിക്കുന്ന തിരുമേനിയുടെ മഹനീയ സേവനത്തെ ചിരസ്മരണീയമാണ് പുനരുദ്ധാന നാളിൽ വീണ്ടും ഒരുമിച്ച് കാണാമെന്ന പ്രത്യാശയിലൂടെ സമസ്ത വിശ്വാസ സമൂഹവും ഭാഗ്യസ്മരണീയനായ ഡോക്ടർ ഫിലിപ്പോസ് മാർ ക്രിസോസ് മാർത്തോമ വലിയുത്തരപ്പലിക്ക് പ്രത്യാശപൂർവ്വം സമുചിതമായ യാത്രയപ്പ് നൽകി തിരുമേനിയുടെ ദേഹവിയോഗത്തിൽ വേദനയിലായിരിക്കുന്ന സ്വഭാവങ്ങൾക്കും സ്നേഹിതർക്കും കുടുംബാംഗങ്ങൾക്കും സഭയുടെ സ്ഥാന സഭയുടെ നാഥനായ കർത്താവ് ആശ്വാസവും സമാധാനവും നൽകുമാറാകട്ടെ കർത്താവ് യേശു മെച്ചയുടെ കൃപ സമാധാനവും എല്ലാവരോടും കൂടെ ഇരിക്കുമാറാകട്ടെ എന്ന് തിരുവല്ല പുലാത്തിനിൽ നിന്നും ക്രിസ്താബ്ദം രണ്ടായിരത്തി ഇരുപത്തൊന്ന് മെയ് മാസം പതിനാലാം തീയതി ഡോക്ടർ തിയേഡോഷ് മർത്തമ മെത്രപോലത അതിനോടൊപ്പമുള്ള ഒരറിയിപ്പ് കപട ശുശ്രൂഷ സംബന്ധിച്ച ചെലവുകൾക്കായി നമ്മുടെ ഇടവുകളിൽ നിന്ന് നൽകുന്ന സംഭാവന നല്ല പതിവ് നമുക്കുണ്ടല്ലോ ഇടവുകൾ നിത്യചെലവ് സംഖ്യയുടെ അൻപത് ശതമാനത്തിൽ കുറയാത്ത തുക സംഭാവനയായി നൽകുന്ന രീതി തുടരണമെന്ന് അറിയിക്കുന്നു പ്രസ്തുത തുക രണ്ടായിരത്തി ഇരുപത്തൊന്ന് ആഗസ്റ്റ് പതിനൊന്നിനകം സഭാ ഓഫീസ് ലഭിക്കത്തക്ക വേണം അയച്ചു കൊടുക്കേണ്ടതാണ് രണ്ടാമതായുള്ള ഒരു കൽപ്പന ഡിയർലി ബിലോവിഡ് ഇൻ ക്രൈസ്റ്റ് വി ആർ ഓൾ അവെയർ ഓഫ് ദ സിവിയറിറ്റി ഓഫ് ദ സിറ്റുവേഷൻ അറൗണ്ട് കോവിഡ് ഇൻ ഇന്ത്യ ആസ് എ കൺട്രി സീസ് ഇസ് മോസ്റ്റ് സിവിയർ സെർച്ച് ഇൻ ദ ഇൻഫെക്ഷൻ സിൻസ് ഔട്ട് ഔട്ട്സെറ്റ് ഓഫ് ദ പെൻഡമിക് a significant number of people in the kerala and different parts of the india are impacted in the unabated spread of covid-19 has placed immense strain on resources available for organizations and communities dealing with this humanitarian crisis many have reached out and communicated their desire to help those more affected as a country face overwhelming surge of record breaking covid-19 cases and death It is our Christian responsibility to help the people in their need for care and resources. Many of us are concerned about our families and friends in India. As a diocese of North America and Europe, we are committed to join our hands in supporting the severity suffering fellow human in India. I do urge the members to continue our prayer for India and share our resources for well-being of affected COVID-19 patients. As a mark of our solidarity with our suffering, individuals and parishes shall contribute generously for helping the needy by sending their contribution to diocese at the earliest the funds received will be used directly to support those in critical needs and will be informed on timely manner we would appreciate your contributed continued support at such unforeseen times and let us do our best for the betterment of the humanity may god by his grace and mercy protect the people from this disaster as the psalmist reminds us happy is the nation who god is the lord the people whom he has chosen as his heritage the lord looks down from heaven he sees all human kind let us continue to pray all for all the people affected by this pandemic yours is ministry writer and dr isamar felix nos diocesan episcopa regular activities next sunday we have a ordinary service that is matinee service in malayalam at 10:30 am reverend reji yoganan will deliver the message virtually during this service adutha aayja namakku matinee service aanu adu odane namakku live stream undayirikkunnalla reji yoganan nachan virtual aayittu nammalodoppam aa service il pangadakkeyum cheyyunnaanu inviting all families to attend holy communion service on coming sunday Online sign-up will open today evening. Sign-up will be first come, first served basis for 190 people maximum. Deadline to submit your registration on Saturday. Namaka, he put the ask for the updated religious institution guidance. State allowed to have indoor gathering to maximum 25% of the venue size. Namaka, he put 190 people according to the year of 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 the year. സർവീസുകൾ ലൈവ് സ്ട്രീമിൻ്റെ ഉപയോഗം ഇനിയും കഴിവതും കുറയ്ക്കാൻ ശ്രമിക്കുകയാണ് അതുകൊണ്ട് കൂടുതൽ ആൾക്കാർ സർവീസിൽ ഇൻ പേഴ്സണായിട്ട് വന്ന് പങ്കെടുക്കണം എന്നുള്ള കാര്യം സ്നേഹത്തോടെ ഓർമ്മിപ്പിക്കട്ടെ ട്രെയിനിറ്റി ഈസ്റ്റ് പ്രയർ ഗ്രൂപ്പ് വിൽ ബി അസിസ്റ്റിംഗ് വിത്ത് ലെസൺ ട്രീഡിംഗ് ട്യൂസ്ഡേ ആൻഡ് വെനസ്ഡേ പ്രയർ ഹാവ് ബീൻ ക്യാൻസൽഡ് ഫ്രൈഡേ സെവൻ ബി എം യൂത്ത് ഫെലോഷ് മീറ്റിംഗ് ത്രൂ കോൺഫറൻസ് കോൾ ജനറൽ അനൗൺസ്മെൻറ്റ്സ് 
Condolence and Thanksgiving meeting. Condolence and Thanksgiving meeting of late Most Reverend Dr. Isaac Filipinos, Filipos Marker Sosna Marthoma Valley Metropolitan on Sunday, May 16th at 4 p.m. EST via Zoom or Marthoma Media YouTube channel. I request all of you to join the Zoom link by 3.45 p.m. Ajuachar. Sunday School Announcements. Renda Announcement Nala Sunday School Nala One Nava Dha Item. Students who are taking the diocesan exam should be on the Sunday School Zoom link by 3.15 p.m. today. The exam will start at 3.30 p.m and end at 5 p.m. We are requesting everyone to keep those students in your prayers. Second announcement from Sunday School. Sunday school. There will be a teacher's training schedule to be scheduled, held on May 22nd, Saturday at 9.30 a.m. via Zoom conference call. The section will be held by Reverend Prince Matathilith and Mr. Tom Phillip. All teachers are requested to participate. The Zoom login information will be emailed to all the teachers, Sunday School officials. MDVA prayer meeting. Marthama Voluntary Evangelist Association, Southeast Region, next league conference prayer will be conducted on Monday, May 17, 2021, from 8 p.m. to 9 p.m. Reverend Shiju Thomas, Vicar of Baltimore MDC, will speak from the Word of God. Your prayerful presence is requested. Varigis K. Joseph, MDVA Southeast Region Secretary. Sevia Sangam, Sandra B. Prayer Meeting. Sevia Sangam Southeast Region Center B monthly prayer meeting via teleconference, which will be on Wednesday, May 19th, from 8 p.m. to 9 p.m. This prayer meeting is a blessing for everyone in this pandemic period. May God bless you all. Sevia Sangam Center B Secretary Sheila Daniel. Young Women's Fellowship Meeting. Young Women's Fellowship Meeting is scheduled on May 22nd at 5:30 p.m. All Young Women's members are encouraged to attend this meeting. Swana Thomas, Young Women's Fellowship Secretary. Family photo section. This is the first time we family photo sections. We have to raise the first time 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 we have to Ketrain tamat sih kita dengan orang orang itu, dengan ada slot gal edega, ini projek itu utri effort gal ini baik endul anda. Ketrain betul ni projek gal purti eri kya, anu lada anda ini dewi desem, anu dalilah orang ini sakar anam. Windu afir tadi kono orang orang aisyah lim, ada aisyah lek orang lah slot ini skedul aikin anda, dengan ke sign up ini orang gudi, dengan katum register orang lah usir munda eri kena. Church mandiri bulat ini, April and May masa mandiri bulat ini, orang orang itu ke email aita, kaya jossu mai jernu. Ini baru kedua lepas itu anda bersusuk ini MCI. Itu yang mana nama kita yang cerita orang semua ni, semua orang kau, anak kita ni repudi yang cerita ni hari ini MCI. Thank you. Thank you. Ini terima kasih kerana ada nilai panggilan kita dalam dewata esok ini. Kita itu sendiri ada blessing to see so many people. As Sumod announced, the restrictions are coming down. So more people can come and join. I hope and pray that more people will join us in the coming uh, weeks. I know uh, some of you are still apprehensive of how it will be. But once you start coming, I'm sure it will be a blessing. So please continue to come. Namaka, we have our uh, see, um, uh, protections. We do maintain all that is possible. So let's depend on God and participate in in-person worships in the coming uh, weeks. Uh, let me again remind you regarding the um, condolence meeting, which will be held this evening at 4 uh, via Zoom and also uh, to the Marthoma Media channel. Please do participate in it. Also, as the Secretary mentioned and I had mentioned earlier, those who would like to contribute for the COVID relief, please pass it through your trustees or to the diocese so that it, in, it can be used at this moment when it is needed. Um, may God continue to bless you. It's happy to see the young couple, the new couple. I wouldn't say the young couple. It's a new couple, Vindya and Jake, who with us. Uh, I remember after their proposal also, they were there here in sun, on Sunday. And here after the wedding, after a long night, I'm sure after all the partying, you guys are here. Welcome, uh, Jake and Vindya, to the Christos Marthoma Church as a family. Okay, you guys are part of us as a family. 
God bless you all. Thirsty item. In Nalagal, if you need anything, Ningada, ending in Abishing Lundangal, office bearers through Alangal Nerito, Arichal, Nangada Sanitia Munda. Epo either you have a certain either some Rathrio Pagalo and the Nokade, either some etum Arika, Nangada Sanitia Munda Irikim, Ningle Arikanam, Arika, Nanada Riatilla. Pina, Namuk Etrain Begum, Vigari Etchen, Ibadavana, Ibadas Rushal Kanertum Nalguan, the Eva Mediakate, and the Namaka Pratica. Let's pray. Father, we thank you again for this time that you gave us to be together. We know, Master, that your presence is upon us as we start a new week of our life. We pray that you will be with us. We know that we will face new challenges. There will be different experiences which we never, never expected coming our way in the new week. But we trust and we believe, O oh Master, that you will be with us, that you are always there with us. Help us to cling on to you in all our life experiences, especially at this time we commit our Sunday school children who will be taking the exams this afternoon. We pray that you will bless and strengthen them. We thank you for every blessing that you have added upon our lives till we meet again. We pray that you will protect us under the shadow of your wings. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. The triune God. Be with us, bless us, and strengthen us this day and forevermore. Amen. Thank you.